today I'll be showing you how to fix the checker and jailbreak errors that occur on the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2, and the iPad Mini 3. This usually occurs right before the device boots and it usually gets stuck on right before trigger. So this is the fix for it. It's a complete fix. There's no um, issues with this process. Uh, you do need a 200 megabyte or more USB flash drive um, that you are not using and uh, it's a pretty simple tutorial so just follow this video it works every time I've never had any issues with this so uh, just follow what I'm doing and you'll be good to go what you want to do is go to this website um, all the websites and links will be in the description below whatever you need will be there uh, go to this website and download for Windows and then you want to install it to your desktop next thing you want to do is go to this link which will also be in the description below and this is my file that I had uploaded and this is for CheckRain the USB version only for the A7 devices the 5S, the iPad Air, the Mini 2 and the Mini 3 which are the A7 devices so what you want to do is just go to this and then come over here to the three dots and then click download save it to your desktop and then we'll be on our way open up the etcher uh, installation that we had installed and then here's my a7 checkering.iso file you want to select flash from file scroll down to see that .iso click open and then you want to select the target it is a 119 megabyte file but you should have more than at least 200 megabytes on your USB it will format that USB just to make sure that um, you back up everything before doing this process. Uh, so then you want to select the target and mine is the F drive right here and then click select and then click flash. This may take some time you will see a prompt uh, asking you for permissions in the CMD for the process to occur just click on yes and then it'll start flashing it to the USB drive and once it's done I will show you exactly what to do afterwards so once it's finished it will eject the flash drive and you will see the flash complete so now I will show you how to actually boot the USB drive that you're using into the check ring jailbreak so what you want to do now is completely shut down your computer unplug the USB flash drive that we installed CheckRain on, and then plug that back in. Now what you want to do is figure out, or just Google it, your computer's brand name, followed by boot device key, or the BIOS key. So you can get into your boot device options in order to boot from the flash drive. So mine is the escape key, um, for other people, it may be one of the F keys, but for me, it's the escape key. So what I'm going to do is turn on the computer and rapidly hit my escape key. Now, this is what comes up for me, the boot, the boot device option. And you're going to want to go into that boot device. You're going to see this. It'll say welcome to Grub. Don't worry about that. It's just going to load the check range jail right now. So just wait for that to load. Now this is what's going to come up. It is the check range version beta 0.10.1 there are other check range jailbreaks that are much more updated than this but this is the only version that works for me um, and that works every time for my 5s which always has the right before trigger issue so what you want to do is now plug in your device and actually before plugging in your device you want to go into settings and disable your passcode and then plug in your device. 
and you'll see this, select trust. Now what you want to do is go into your options and then select allow untested iOS versions. Click back. This is the iPhone 5S running the latest iOS 12.5.4. So it works for this. As you can see, it shows you the um, your iPhone 5S or device that you're using. Now this is only for the devices I've listed. So um, other than that, you don't want to use any other device with this checkering version because it's not really up to date. What you want to do is then now go into start, click next, and now it will go into recovery mode. So this will show up. Device is now in recovery mode. You want to click start and then hold the power and home button until the countdown goes all the way down. Hold the home button until the countdown goes all the way down and I will show you that right now. You can let go when you see this. It'll say setting up the exploit. This is the heap spray. It's not going to completely go all the way because this is the one of the devices that has the issue with the completion. So I will show you exactly what to do once this gets to right before the trigger. Now you'll see right before the trigger, wait five seconds. And what you're going to want to do is unplug the cable and then plug it back in right away. Unplug it and then plug it back in. It'll say DFU sync upload failed. Don't worry about that. As long as it says booting, it will now boot and the check green jailbreak will have been applied. Now my phone was already jailbroken prior to this video, but this works for re-jailbreaking and jailbreaking the phone. You wanna just click on done. You can click quit. And then you wanna just type in shut down. And then hit enter and it'll shut down the computer for you. You can then unplug the USB. And then, um, so once you get to the screen, open it up. And then you'll see the check rain jailbreak, um, the check rain loader. You can click on that and then install Cydia if you haven't jailbroken it, jailbroken it already. But as you can see, my Cydia does work now because I did re jailbreak or reapply the check rain jailbreak. So there you go check rain uh, has been applied and now it does work and there you go my check rain loader has loaded up um, it may take some time but you want to just click on Cydia click install and then just wait for it to install if any comments questions or concerns leave them in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time